Madagascar, an island off the east coast of Africa, is as big as the United Kingdom and Germany combined. Currently, 6,480 kilometers of tarmac exists. When you leave the few tarmac roads behind, road travel is measured in days or weeks. For many years, MAF, Mission Aviation Fellowship, has operated in Madagascar. MAF transports aid workers and cargo to the airstrip closest to the population in need. If they cannot be reached by the air, there will be a gap in the coverage of relief programs. That is why MAF has requested HoverAid to combine their efforts to reach the unreachable. HoverAid, they use hovercraft as a way to reach isolated areas for relief and development. We think a hovercraft can contribute to that by providing access in an affordable and a safe way. The more isolated, the more remote the places are, the bigger the needs of the populations are. Many remote areas have no basic health care, no clean drinking water and poor sanitation conditions. Malnutrition is widespread in children, making the children susceptible to illness. Infectious diseases such as respiratory infections, measles, diarrhea and malaria causes a high infant mortality. Also, many people suffer from eye diseases. The number of people that need medical care is enormous. Madagascar's west coast has an estimated network of rivers and beaches of more than 10,000 kilometers. At least two and a half million people could be reached with a hovercraft on the west coast alone, in addition to a further one million on the east coast, all in areas that are otherwise completely isolated. HoverAid makes it possible for the American Development Organization, PSI, to work in the remote area along the Manguki River in the southwest of Madagascar. PSI has objectives of national coverage and this is a really an accessible region because there are no roads. It was a good opportunity for PSI to come and do some outreach and do some sensitization to an area that we've never been in before. Well, hovercraft works by pushing air underneath the body of the vehicle. Um, it has a big fan at the back that pushes air underneath. And as the air escapes from underneath the skirt around the sides of the hovercraft, that reduces the friction. And then we have two other fans that push the vehicle along. And because the hovercraft is sitting on top of the water surface, it doesn't actually have to be in the water, so it can go over land as well. Um, the skirt conforms or changes its shape to accommodate the water or the land that it's going over, makes a seal all the way around with a little gap that the air rushes out through and that little gap is all we need. So we're actually flying at about six millimetres above the ground. Medical services are very far from here. The nearest medical services would be in Beimavu, which is further up the river, and then Beiruruha, which is the largest town in this area. And to get to Beiruruha, it would probably take two days from this particular village. We do a short interview before and after the projections. We're finding that many people have never been to school at all. Clean water issues, I think, is something very new as well. Um, these people are very lucky to be near a water source. Everything is done there, clothes washing, fishing, bathing, and drinking. And children will just run to the river and stick their face in and drink water. 
The people haven't had any sort of access to outside information. For instance, the population is not aware of the real causes of malaria. Therefore, PSI has an educational program on malaria and promotes the use of mosquito nets. <laughs> During the projections, they like something to, to look at, something new. PSI in general are really satisfied, and from what the team has seen, health sensitizations to this area, it's really needed. But in regions like this, where just preparing a meal is such a struggle for the people who live here, I think it makes hosting very difficult. Besides transportation, Havraid also provides camp facilities such as tents, sanitation, food and communication equipment, for example HF radio, set phones, email and electricity supply. Havraid is prepared for immediate emergency response, especially cyclone relief for regions cut off due to flooding or damage to infrastructure. Hovercraft can go wherever there's water essentially. Um, if you've got uh, a river or a lake um, or mud or swamps, anything like that, anywhere where there is a water surface, a hovercraft can go. If there's an NGO planning to do rural outreach, they use the experience of, of the Hover Aid staff. I suppose what we're trying to do in a nutshell is enable other organisations to do the things that they do best in those communities that need that help and support the most. The goal of Hoveraid is to start a long-term hovercraft service in Madagascar. They support relief and development organizations, churches and missions by providing access to otherwise unreachable areas.